E minor. Let's talk about what we're going to do to create this, okay? The minor chords are closely related to the major chord forms, right? So first thing, if you're ever having like a moment of, of your, you know, unsureness where you're like, ah, what is this chord again? Just remember, use what you already know. If you know your major chord, then there's a limited number of options that you have to in your fingering that you'll and you'll get you'll be able to remember it just by looking at it like for me when i look at e minor i love e minor because i see e major right and i look at this i look at this shape right where my hands are and i know that i when i see it i see my my i always know that my first finger is on the major third right that note right there if i take all my other ones and knowing what we know now about the theory of how to create a minor chord, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that major third and I'm gonna flat it. So what happens if I flat it? I go down half a step. But what happens is that that ends up being my open G string. All right, we know now that we have our E major chord, we have our major third, we're gonna flat it which means less fingers on the neck, a little bit easier to play, which is always great. Sounds fantastic, right? So we've got E minor now. So E, B, second finger, second fret on the A string. Then we've got our third finger on the second fret as well on the E string. Open G, open B, and open E. And then you've got that big, beautiful E minor sound. Okay, so let's do an exercise like we did with A, where we go back and forth between E major and E minor. Let's try that. I'll just, I'm just going to go four, four downstrokes, or one, two, three, four, one. Now, I wanna change something up in the rhythm. I want you to start practicing placing your rhythmic variations in different parts of the bar, because that's what you're gonna do ultimately when you're just playing freely and kind of intuitively. You're gonna just play rhythms and you're gonna be able to just play what you want, when you want, So, but you have to practice it, right? So rather than playing the, the quarter notes, first bar, like one, two, three and four and reverse it. Go one and two and three, four, one. So in other words, the beginning of the bar will have the eighth notes. One and two and three, four, one and two and three, four. So we're gonna get this kind of sound. We're gonna start with E major. We're gonna go, oh, let me turn down just a hair up. One and two and three, four, minor. So that'll be the exercise. And we're going to have the metronome set at 75. And we're going to start with eighth notes, one and two and three, four. Then we'll change the chord to E minor, one and two and three, four. So what we're doing is we're mixing up within a bar where we place our eighth notes and quarter notes. This is very good practice. Um, so let's try it. Let's try it. If I could have the metronome, please. I'll do four cycles through of the E major to E minor, okay? One, two, three, four.
Okay. Um, one of the things I want to remind you of is that I'm specifically doing these upbeats because I want you to gain control of your pick. This is hard. It's hard. The pick is, I want to remind you, this takes time. Do not get discouraged if your pick is kind of shifting around or you feel like it's going to fly out of your hand. It will start to, you'll develop it. You'll develop the right touch to hold it, just the right, the right amount of force where you don't drop the pick. I don't have to think about it anymore. But even this kind of exercise, I have to concentrate to play these eighth notes. One and two and three, four, one and two. I have to concentrate it so it's not easy. So give yourself a break if you're having a hard time doing that. This is a kind of a long-term marathon kind of uh, strumming exercise. And uh, you're, I'm sure you're doing good by this point. It's, 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 it's tough, but you're going to get it. You're going to get it. So hang in there. And hopefully your fingers are feeling better too. Um, as always, if you have any questions and you, and you want any, a little extra help on this, uh, feel free to reach out and uh, I will do a video exchange with you. Thank you.